Right now here at five, are you a smoker or have you quit smoking over the past few years? Well, the American Cancer Society has now updated its recommendations about when former smokers should get tested for lung cancer. Here's ABC's Rena Roy telling us about the recommendations and what they mean for your health in case you missed the changes at the end of last year. Lung cancer is the overall leading cause of cancer death in the U.S. In an effort to save more lives, the American Cancer Society updated screening recommendations for the first time since 2013. The latest guidelines expand screening eligibility, now recommending yearly testing for people 50 to 80 years old who smoke or formerly smoked and have a so-called 20-year or greater pack year history. The age range expanded, and now even those who quit smoking years ago should be screened. The biggest change is that we eliminated the years since quit. It used to be our feeling that once you were about 15 years after you stopped smoking, that your risk of lung cancer fell to such an extent that you no longer needed uh, lung cancer screening. And over time, that data has proven to be incorrect. Lung cancer mainly occurs in older people, 65 and up, but anyone at any age can get it. So early detection is key. We're actually increasing the number of folks that are eligible for lung cancer screening by about 5 million. We do know that lung cancer, when found in its earliest stage, stage one, that it's often treatable, often curable. The recommended annual screening test is a low-dose CT scan that can be ordered by your primary care physician. It's a very quick CT scan, but has a very good chance of finding a cancer early on um, where it's still treatable. Remember, these scans are done for people without symptoms of lung cancer. You know, if you had a cough or coughing up blood or weight loss then you would need a somewhat different evaluation. Experts say it may be a good idea for non-smokers with a strong family history of lung cancer or strong secondhand exposure to get screened too. Sadly, the screening rates for lung cancer are the lowest of any screening test out there. It's really important for folks that are eligible for lung cancer screening to, to get the CT scan because it actually can save your life. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.